Hello friends, welcome again at my video tutorial. Today I will show you how to prepare coffee via uh, origami coffee dripper uh, size S I will use today. Uh, I will use uh, Kalita drippers. There are two sizes, 185 this small one and 195 this big one. And uh, I will use for uh, this S uh, this small one, but it's much better than for example this big one. See? And uh, I will use today a very simple recipe of what I was inspired with April coffee roasters from Denmark. And uh, sometimes I use this uh, recipe uh, for morning when I am not really in clear mind, when I am still in sleepy mood. And I don't focus too much. And this recipe is based on two parts. Uh, first, that I will do blooming. And uh, second part, I will slowly pour from middle to side, just uh, very slow and uh, same uh, consistently pour uh, until uh, when I don't reach uh, an early top. And after I will let, uh, leave, um, get out through dripper. And after continue until I don't reach my final number. Uh, ideally, it will if you will go too smooth and too slow that you will be not need stop uh, in second uh, or last these two thirds of uh, your brewing. Because um, this uh, temperature in basket, once you will add some level of water, will quite high. I will use water temperature around 91 for this coffee. Uh, today I will use. Uh, uh, Thai coffee beans uh, from Nova um, coffee roasters in Chiang Mai and this uh, grinding will uh, uh, just uh, medium uh, coarse uh, not very fine and not very too much uh, coarse so maybe more like medium usually I use um, 13 grams of coffee beans for approximately 210 uh, grams of uh, pureed water and or 18 grams of coffee beans for approximately 300 uh, grams pureed water. Today I will use 18 grams of coffee beans. In my opinion uh, it's easier at this kind of like a wider dripper uh, like a cover and all this uh, coffee grinds, if it's a uh, smaller amount, uh, this uh, circle, it's kind of like hard to keep uh, these circles and cover correct this coffee grinds then and the wider. The first uh, I will approach my uh, filters. I think from Kalita they are quite good quality, this white one. So you don't need scare uh, that you will have some um, other uh, tastes or flavors, but you don't want really coffee from feelings from these papers. Like at some, I can say more brown. Uh, this recyclate can be used to be sometime. Second step, I will do blooming. Blooming, I will do uh, quite fast and uh, aggressive. Within, uh, uh, I will try uh, this hundred grams of um, water. I pour within maybe 10 to 20 seconds and after I let uh, get out this gas and uh, uh, this last 200 grams of water I will slowly pour from middle to side back and again till when I don't reach my number.
So, coffee is ready. Uh, what I want to say, uh, this recipe uh, we all create kind of like very balanced coffee without uh, any flavors that will get out too much, like not acidity, not uh, too much sweetness, not too much bitterness. It will kind of like a relaxation drink. So as well, for this reason, it's good to drink morning when you're just starting your day and you want to relax. You don't want to really think what kind of flavors and if they were and after be dissipated, if they are not in this coffee, uh, it's not really for experimenting, it's for relaxation mood, this method. So for this reason, I recommend morning. It's something like coffee yoga when you uh, slowly, much slower than I done now today for this video, uh, pour and you're just relaxing. So enjoy your coffee, enjoy your day and hope uh, we will see you soon. Thanks again for watching my videos.